Well, John Horgan is the head of government in British Columbia, responsible for the rule of law. And yet when our roads are blockaded, our ports are obstructed, when the, you can't even get in the legislative building, he's nowhere to be seen, he runs away from the media, and he's hiding in his office behind a police blockade. John Horgan likes being the Premier except when it's hard work. And we've seen today that there is absolutely nothing in this throne speech about an agenda for British Columbians. It could have been last year's throne speech because there is no agenda whatsoever. We see the Premier is falling asleep in his chair while the protesters being heard shouting into the chamber. We've got to have the rule of law in this province. We've got to have a place where people can work and obstructed roads Blockaded ports mean that we cannot get the work of British Columbia done, and the NDP need to take responsibility and fix it. What should they be doing to fix it? We have the system of rule of law in this country. The NDP pretended for years it didn't apply in parts of this province, with cabinet ministers and their own members saying that the existing system of law in Canada shouldn't apply in parts of northern BC. That's wrong. We have a government that's ignored its responsibility for the rule of law, and now the chickens are coming home to roost. How do you cool this down? Well, they've let this blossom into a huge province-wide protest that's spreading across the country. This should have been addressed two years ago with a clear and mandated approach to resolving the situation. Instead, we had NDP cabinet ministers, NDP MLAs out there saying that the rule of law doesn't apply in parts of this province, and this is the result. <laughs> it's clear that this government has no agenda. They are regurgitating messages from two years ago. There's no new plan for investment in British Columbia. There are no new programs. And the legislature building is under siege from protesters. Our streets and ports are being blockaded. And John Horgan's nowhere to be seen, hiding his office behind a police barricade. Do you think he's really hiding in there? Well, he was, John Horgan was quite happy to run away from the press after this empty throne speech that contains no agenda for British Columbia. Where's the Premier who liked to be so happy and thought this is a fun job? He thinks it's a great job until it gets to be hard work, and then he goes and hides. Any other questions? Comments? Comments? <laughs> 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 I mean, it's that kind of day today. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we all learned to come into work before 8.30 because you might not get in after that. Anyway, thanks for coming, folks. Thank you very much. How did you get here? I came in the side door at, uh, I think, 10 to 8, and the protesters were out front, and the side door was no problem at all. How do you think uh, it's going to play out? We don't know if this is going to turn into... Well, the authorities here in the legislature have an obligation to keep it functioning, and they have access to the courts, just like every other British Columbian has access to the courts. We'll see if they apply for an injunction. We'll see if they want to enforce that injunction here on the legislative grounds. But all of this is totally unnecessary. If there'd been a more pragmatic and thoughtful approach to this two years ago, we wouldn't have had an empowered group of protesters representing a small faction of the Wet'suwet'en who've decided to take over the province of British Columbia one step at a time. Thanks, folks.